Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Rami. I am a registered nurse, a fourth year medical student, a wife, and a mom, and my content relates to all of that. So if you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button to join the family and follow me along on my journey. It truly means so much to me. Today's video is all about how I passed step one in four weeks. To give you guys a background, I failed every NBME exam. I only finished UWorld first pass at 30%. I had a toddler at the time and I was five months pregnant while I took step one. So if I can do it, you can do it too. And to also kind of tell you guys, I've always been an average medical student. I've always studied just a couple of hours throughout medical school since year one. I was never like a go-getter, um, someone who studied like 10 hours a day. That was just never me. And if you guys have always watched me from the beginning, you know that's not me. Let me get into the details of what exactly I did to pass step one in four weeks. The first thing I did was find a study area, some place that you can go to every single day and knock out questions, knock out what you need to do and go back home and just be completely done. For me as a mom, that's something I had to do because there was no way I was gonna study with a toddler at home. So I picked Lifetime, it's my local gym and they have a wonderful cafeteria studying area that was quiet and that's where I went every single day for four weeks. I gave myself a break one day a week, so I would go six days a week, anywhere from four to eight hours, depending on what I was going to be doing that day. I originally had eight weeks set aside for dedicated for step one, but I was actually so burned out from clerkship that I really just wanted to take a break and just take some time off to rest. So I took two weeks off and that left me with six weeks left for dedicated. Something I didn't realize until the six week mark was that you truly don't know your schedule unless you really plan it out beforehand of what you're gonna be doing, what questions you're gonna be doing, what resources you're going to be using until you start dedicated. There's actually a program that our school hired and paid for that I didn't attend um, where the guy said it takes two weeks to actually figure out a schedule for step one and stick to it. It, and I didn't realize it, but that's exactly what happened to me at the six week mark. My plan was to watch some videos, do some content in the morning and do three blocks, which is 120 questions a day. That was like my mindset going into it and I thought I could actually achieve it. Started off using med school bootcamp, but what didn't occur to me until I started was that it took up so much of my time. And as a mom of a toddler, it's pretty much impossible to dedicate 10 hours of your day every single day uh, for six weeks. What I quickly realized a few days into my step prep was that this was not working. What I did using med school bootcamp was actually just transition to the subjects that I was weakest in, things that I never learned during pre-clerkship. So that was pretty much biochemistry. I also used their pathology principles section. So those were the sections that I really dedicated time to and worked through before starting dedicated. Also the first few days while starting this content, I realized that the video content was just so vast and I really needed to get to doing practice questions because these videos were taking all day so by the four week mark i'd probably only done a few blocks like maybe like less than 100 questions of you world by the time the four week mark started so by then i realized i really needed to use first aid because that was something that really helped me during pre-clerkship i literally had my book and it was full of highlights full of notes full of underlining. That's what I used during pre-clerkship to help me pass those courses. So I thought, why not try to implement it into my current content to study for step one? While kind of practicing the first couple of weeks, determining what worked for me and what didn't, I had finished all of the material on med school bootcamp that I wanted to. Then by doing the questions on UWorld, I realized that quality was way better than quantity. I'm the person who went through Reddit and read through tons and tons and tons of threads of people getting scores in this range and they did 100% of UWorld. They're on their second pass of UWorld now and they're like finishing 50% of it. And I looked and like there's literally thousands of questions to go through on UWorld. I had no idea what I was going to do. So after doing a few Few questions and realizing I pretty much knew nothing that was going on. I had to really focus on the questions and just get the most out of each question. So what I ended up doing and figuring out by the time my four week mark started was that 
I was gonna do one block a day, so only 40 questions, but really take my time delving in through the question and the answers and why I got them wrong. I did all my questions on tutored because to me, when I did it on timed, I would go back and kind of forget my thought process of why I picked that answer in the first place, especially with a toddler, especially with things going on at home. I was very, very busy and sometimes I didn't even get time to go back to that block. So what I did every single day was one block of you worlds. Let me tell you how I examined each question. So because I didn't take it on timed I did every single question on tutor so I could figure out what I was thinking about I'll do my question submit my answer and determine why I picked that question was it because I lacked the knowledge and I was just guessing or did two things sound similar and I clicked the wrong one or was it something that I learned and then just forgot I had to figure out why I got the question wrong and if it was just a lack of knowledge, which was pretty much all of my step one prep, to be honest, I didn't know a lot of the content going into it. And that was one of the cons taking step one after pre-clerkship and clerkship because I had already forgotten that material from over a year ago and it wasn't fresh in my mind. So I pretty much had to start from scratch in studying. I downloaded first aid on my laptop. Every time I got a question wrong or right, if I was just guessing on that question, I would go to first aid and control F the subject. For example, if they're talking Talking about like ovarian tumors I would type in that specific topic like an endometrioma or something like that and then I would study it read about it highlight it and everything surrounding the topic so when another question came that talked about the other topic I would already have that knowledge so in doing one question I learned about four to five new topics in just that one question and I would do that every single time I got a new question I would control F the subject in first aid and first aid pretty much had all of the topics that was covered in you world and I would read about that subject and then all the related topics to prepare me for the next question that is what I did to get some quality studying in in every single question so one block could literally take me like three to four hours to do in the beginning as time went on by the second week I was adding in a second block so I would do two blocks a day and I was doing them much faster and get through two blocks in three to four hours instead of one and this is because topics overlap and you will see this topic multiple times asked in different ways and I feel like by like the 25% mark I started really seeing this overlap more and more. But by the end of my four week dedicated, I got through 80% of first aid. And when I was like looking through the PDF, like almost every single page was highlighted and looked at. So I turned to Sketchy to do microbiology. I solely just did Sketchy Micro. I kind of interwove this throughout my four week dedicated month. Just do what works best for you guys, depending on how you schedule yourself. I finished all of Sketchy Micro by the third week of dedicated. That was super helpful. I would call that like a gold standard, like definitely get through Sketchy Micro before you take step one. So alongside while doing my block and working in Sketchy Micro, I also worked in the NBMEs. I did all of the NBMEs. There's actually two that I didn't have time to do, so I ended up just reviewing it. What I did for those two NBMEs was just quickly review the questions and the answers at the same time. I just wanted to get more exposure to their writing style and kind of what they may ask and their answers, so that was really helpful. So I actually wrote everything down and wrote down like my percentages and everything like that, and I literally failed every single one. My highest score was a 59%, um, and that was my very last one five days before I took the exam, and that was an estimated passing score of 84%. And the very last thing I took was the free 120, and that was three days before the exam, and I got a 70%. I took one NBME the first two weeks, and then the last two weeks, I took two NBMEs each week. I actually did take a baseline for my school, and I got a 39% passing rate, a 50%. I knew I needed to get to at least 60 to feel like I had to pass, but I just absolutely had no time. I knew I was pregnant, I had a deadline, and I could not push any further. So even though I did not pass, I literally just took the risk and went with it and just trusted my quality studying and just hoped it would pull through on test day.
On actual test day, I felt like there was a lot of experimental questions. I felt like I was about 50-50 in each block. Like, I felt like I was flagging like 10 per block. At the end of it, I was so exhausted. It's an eight-hour test, and I was five months pregnant. So it was so difficult just to get through. Honestly, that's an achievement in itself, just to sit through and get through step one. While actively thinking for every single question in every single block, you guys want like a day of exam prep, like what I did, what I brought with me, what snacks I brought, what I did to prepare for test day. Um, I can definitely make a video about that and just let me know down in the comments. That is the end of this video. I hope these tips helped you. I just wanted to share these tips with you guys to hopefully help you as well if you are crunched for time like I was. But remember to always focus on that quality studying and just trust your prep on step day. I know it's super nerve wracking, but it feels wonderful to get it over with and wonderful to never have to study for anything again in medical school. Hi. No, oh, okay, good job. Can you say welcome back to my channel? Welcome to my channel. Can you say subscribe? Subscribe. Woo! Good. Bye. Bye. Say don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Good job. <laughs> I love you. So everyone, good job. I love you.